So here we have in front of us the 15 KXF 450 SFF TAC fork. So there is sometimes a misconception out there that with an air fork you do not need to revalve and that's actually not the case. Although in the air fork where all of the spring control happens via air chambers, there is still the hydraulic fork. So yes, very clearly, even in an air fork, revalves do need to happen to tailor it to the rider's needs. So if we look at the air side of the fork, which is the spring control, there's three separate chambers. There's an inner chamber, there's an outer chamber, and there's a negative chamber or a balance chamber. Here we look at the cartridge that takes care of the spring function. So as we put this cap in and charge the inner chamber, it actually exerts air pressure on this damper rod, pushing it out. And then as we charge the negative chamber or the balance chamber here, it's actually fighting to push this back in. So you need to match these two different pressures in order to create what used to be the metal spring. So in this fork, we have the hydraulic damper, we have the compression assembly, we have the main damping rod with its mid-valve piston or rebound piston. There's compression and rebound valving here. This is only compression valving. So this guy goes inside of this tube and obviously it cycles up and down while this is full of oil. And then this compression assembly goes into here. On the hydraulic side, we've got the compression adjuster here, which you adjust with the screwdriver, which we've all known and done for quite some time. And then the rebound adjuster is in the standard place at the bottom of the fork of the twin chamber fork. New to the air fork, now instead of changing springs or preload on springs, you're going to do all this with the different air chambers. So we have the inner chamber and the outer chamber, which are charged through these Schrader valves. And then we have the negative or the balance chamber, which is charged through this Schrader valve here. We found some really interesting things on the dyno. Um, it's actually really promising. We're quite excited about it. We think that it's going to lend itself to very good settings to our customers. We found a couple of nuances that uh, we're actually working on improving already as well. Finding that out in the field would probably be a pretty long process. Here, because we have the dyno, we can isolate that, work on it, correct it, and then put the whole piece back together and work on it, work on it as a whole. We're obviously working hard back here east on the dyno. Um, by the time this video makes it to the public, we're going to be ready to help you out. So um, we look forward to hearing from you and uh, working with you in the future.